Dana. Welcome back to another episode of This Silly Girl's Kitchen. On this week's episode, we're making Actually, we're not making anything scratch that. We're doing a tutorial this week. I'm going to show you how to pipe rosettes onto a cake or cupcakes or whatever your little heart desires you want to pipe rosettes onto. It's super easy and we're using our recipe of fluffiest buttercream frosting from last week, which you can find the link for that down in the description box below. So let's get started. Okay, so for the piping, you just need a one millimeter um, open star tip and a piping bag. I'm just gonna fill this up with the frosting. We are using my recipe for the fluffiest buttercream frosting today. You can find that on thissillygirlskitchen.com. So let's fill this bag up. Oh, no. As soon as that camera goes on, I just make a mess. Try and move as much of that buttercream down to the tip. Now I'm going to cinch it and cup the very tip off the bag. You want to make sure you get it down where the ridges are of the tip of the um, piping tip. There we go. And now we're ready to frost our cake. I'm just putting the tiniest bit of tape to the bottom of our cake board here so it will stay on our uh, cake stand. So before we put the cake on the stand, I'm just going to put just a little dollop of frosting right in the center so the cake will stick to the board. Now this is just a plain vanilla cake. I baked it yesterday. I'm going to sit this right in the center. Press it down just a little bit. So for this tutorial, I just made one nine inch round cake. You can use this technique on cupcakes, any kind of cake. It works just the same. So what I'd like to do is start right in the center with one big rosette and then I'll go around the edges to where I think that they would look nice. So this is, you guys are gonna laugh when you find how, how easy this is. Literally just like frosting a cupcake but you don't layer it on top of itself. You just go like that and let the streak just kind of end on its own. Just like that guys, super simple. So I'm gonna go around and add a couple more. You can make these as big or as small as you'd like. And start to pipe them closer to each other. Don't worry about any gaps because we're gonna fix these later. So now you actually wanna do the sides as well. Just the exact same technique, don't be scared. So as you can tell, I did not crumb coat this cake first. I'm just doing that because we're just gonna eat it ourselves here. But if you're going to do like an event or something like that, if you're making a large cake like this, um, then definitely crumb coat it first, just because you don't want any of the rosettes to just slip off the sides. But if you're just doing cupcakes, don't worry about it, just frost them regularly. Okay, now that we have a lot of the rosettes on and most of it is just a little bit of holes where you can see through the cake, now we're just going to do little stars and it's going to look like a little uh, garden. To do that, you literally just place the tip, squeeze just a little bit and come up just like that. We're just doing this until there is no more, so you can't see the cake anymore through the gaps. Just press. Press up, press up, press up. See, how easy? All right guys, that's it. Look how beautiful it is, if I do say so myself. I love this technique. It looks so pretty on full cakes like this, but it's even prettier on cupcakes. So I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please remember to subscribe to that notification bell down below because every single Wednesday we have a new recipe and or now tutorials on the Silly Girls Kitchen. For the recipe for the best fluffiest buttercream frosting ever, there will be a link down in the description box that will take you to my blog, this
rosekitchen.com for the free full printable recipes. I hope to see you guys next week. Bye guys.